what's going on everyone so uh, as you can see I am in the process of removing the rear end of a riding lawnmower this is the uh, Craftsman LT2000 it has like some kind of like a hydro gear transaxle in the back um, so the reason I'm doing this right here uh, removing the rear end is uh, well long story short uh, the left side of the tire uh, it was uh, not on the rim I guess it doesn't hold air no more and so I tried to um, take it off I couldn't get it off because it was rusted up and so I bang it with a long metal pole and I keep banging it and banging it and uh, it came out along with the uh, axle and everything the axle um, separated from the gearbox so well I'm kind of stuck um, I gotta figure out something I realized I do have another uh, rear end I can put in this uh, riding tractor so so now I'm in the process of taking the uh, rear end out so it's tedious and uh, man this is like a, supposed to be a 10 minute job and turn into a nightmare so don't do what I did um, if it doesn't come out don't hit it so hard that you break the little rig, uh, clip ring inside the uh, gearbox to held onto the uh, axle As you can see, the one I got uh, is a little different from the uh, one off the vehicle. So the pulleys and all the shifting mechanism is all in the wrong spot, so I can't use it. So I guess plan A is out the window. Um, now, the only thing I got left is uh, see if I can uh, take that uh, broken transaxle and tear it apart and replace the uh, clip ring inside
once I remove all the bolts and I'm gonna get a uh, couple of screwdrivers and uh, pry the two casing apart uh, they're held together with uh, I guess uh, gasket glue has something out to catch all the oil Here is the part I got from Amazon. I found the cheapest one I could get, uh, I think about $5 or something. And here's the part number. Let's go ahead and clean out the uh, old gasket so uh, I can go ahead and put everything back together once I install the uh, retaining uh, ring clip. I'm spraying down the casing with uh, brake cleaner so I can use the RTV uh, gasket uh, glue to just reassemble it. So today it's raining pretty hard outside. I guess it's a good day to work indoor. So I guess uh, the only job I can do today is uh, working on this uh, rear transaxle. Here's the rusty axle that I talk about that caused all these headaches. Um, yep, I'm trying to get all the rust off of it. All right, everything is cleaned up. Let's go ahead and reinstall everything back together. As you can see on the casing, I have already applied the uh, Pormatec uh, Ultra Gray uh, High Temperature Gasket Sealant on both sides of the uh, casing. Once you have the casing put together, go and spin the axle, make sure everything's lining up. And go ahead and uh, do the uh, crisscross pattern on the, uh, the bolts when you tighten up the casing.
once I got everything tightened up, I'm gonna leave it alone for maybe like a few days, allow the uh, gasket to uh, cure, and, um, and I'll come back and fill it up with uh, gear oil. And that pretty much it. Now everything's complete and you go ahead and reinstall back into the uh, lawnmower. So if you find this video helpful, uh, go and click the like and please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.